My Norte American West as an academic program began in the year 2000 at the University of New Mexico. Land Arts is a, a research platform that enables us to look at the way humans have dealt with and shaped the land and how we're, we are shaped by the land. And so uh, for me it's super important to bring people out into the landscape to see the, the terrible legacy of what humans have done to the planet as well as the kind of um, the things we strive to make in our best days. It's here at Texas Tech, run out of the College of Architecture, and that's our base. But we bring architects, artists, writers, uh, we bring people from a diverse sets of backgrounds together to apprehend the conversation from multiple points of view. This year, in uh, 2017, we had seven participants. A nice balance of architects, uh, artists, and uh, one with a, a background in, uh, in medical anthropology. Having such a like diverse group of students, being able to talk to an architect or a painter or a ceramicist, getting those different perspectives opened my mind a lot more. I think I realized the time constraint out there, especially in terms of painting. So my thoughts quickly turned to, okay, how am I going to produce these paintings and what am I going to produce when I get back to Lubbock? So it started at Muley Point, I think, which was like our second field site. And as I was going through each journey, I kept noticing that walls were a theme and edges were a theme. It just kind of kept coming up in, in each site we were visiting. And so I knew I wanted to sort of make paintings that collaged ideas from different places. philosophy of the program is that the most mundane and seemingly unspectacular place can become spectacular if we shift our lens of how we look at it. And so I, mean, I really think of the program as a vehicle that brings people to places they would, might not go on their own, uh, kind of surviving, kind of living that full life cycle. I was pretty obsessed quickly with just how I was reacting, my body was reacting to this new environment. I had never have gone to the Southwest. I've never been in this landscape and I think I was really struck by that. So I began with a series of performances um, using the video camera and using my body in different, different ways. Looking at how the landscape's marking my body and then how in reverse my body is making marks on the landscape. That vehicle of how the program gets you there and how it creates an educational context for a different kind of research to, to unfold. You know, one of the things I remember saying after the first year was I was wondering are their eyes literally going to pop out of their heads, you know, just because it felt like their eyes were just opening wider and wider. I cannot express to you enough how the Land Arts of the Amer American West program has fueled the conceptual rigor of my work. Sorry. <laughs> I won't cry. <laughs> Time in the field is now an imperative part of my research and practice, and I am extremely grateful for this experience. I believe it is ever more important for individuals to be in the landscape, surrounded by it for a substantial period of time. The immersive quality, the demand on the physical, the intellectual resources, and the people all contribute to a reverence toward the land that is critical. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs>